The Consulate General of Uganda in Guangzhou intends to establish a Ugandan database living in her territory for traceability and support extension. How are we able to support that? If you register and you send us your information and you tell us that you're in China for whatever reason and you get into any kind of problems, we're able to look into the system and we're able to trace the reason you came to, you, uh, to China and we're able to support you and figure out how to help you. The business community is urged to build a clear rapport with the consulate to enjoy proper accreditation for different economic opportunities and related exhibitions. China before COVID, it's been closed for three years, um, could be different, so many things are different. Uh, businesses may have closed or, um, you know, some, for any unfortunate event, some things may have changed. So what we want to do as the consulate is that we want to have a, a platform to be able to share with people who want to do business in China how they can better engage. We're telling people if you're trying to register a business, how do you do create partnerships in China? Uh, we just came from a coffee event. People want to know how do I market my coffee? Um, you have to have an export license. There's a list of products that are accepted tariff-free we can go through them. The, it's about 202 pages of things that you can send to China tariff-free. So that's some of the information that we can use. Judith Sababera, the Uganda's Consulate General in Guangzhou, elaborates on other significances of this Ugandan database. QR code, this registration um, program that we're doing, is because people are now going to start to come back to China. And we want to be able to see how the embassy can support and the consulate can support. This information moving forward, we will then be able to tell you clearly how many Ugandans are coming to, uh, are coming to China. Interested class assured of confidentiality of their basic data provided to the consulate. We're asking for basic information. But we'll do our best to make sure that this is, is only used for the purposes that we're requesting it for. It is not for anything else. Um, we're not selling the information anywhere. This is just really to support Ugandans. The consulate has established QR code for all stakeholders to log in to for more information and registration. This is one of the strategies laid by the consulate to encourage Ugandans to resume business with China after a long period of lockdown attracted by COVID-19 pandemic. Abdul Nasir Lubwama, 